Six spaces filled and two to fill yet. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan. Let's get right to it. Day seven here at the Double Spin Tournament. And we look over our contestants here as they head up to the blocks. Four and four, as usual, cutting it down to four for the finals, and then one will move on. No individual sweeps yes, yet in this tournament. We are awaiting that distinction if any car is up for it. And so far, a pretty exciting tournament, if I do say so myself, especially that last video with a lot of action down there in this convergence space as we see Audi take to it first and run across the line for a win. A lot of strategy in there. You really want to avoid contact if you can. I mean, as much as we love to see contact, contact from the perspective of a racer, not good. That can throw you off your game. Speed dock, control dock as well, and then you're left spinning around and, well, sometimes all the way back in third place. Here we go. Looks like Audi takes a lead here, but uh, doesn't seem to be as fast in this one. Audi down by a length behind BMW coming into the space and ooh, gets a little nose clip on Bugatti who almost rushes to the finish, but BMW cuts him off. A good move at the end there to ensure a win. Saw that Audi was a little bit further down and made the right block. 2552 tied there between Bugatti and uh, sorry, BMW and Audi. Audi on the near side, BMW the very far side. Cars in the middle here, still with a shot, but it looks like Porsche is, is doing a, a double one, so this could be hard for him to fight his way out. Still slow in this one. BMW just edging out Bugatti into the conversion space. They spin around and lose all control. Porsche might even grab second. He does. And what was I just talking about, right? Have to be controlled, avoid contact in the convergent space. Exciting for our eyes, but not for Bugatti uh, or BMW, who, well, lost out on a bunch of points because of it. Now it's going to be hard for either, either of these cars to uh, grab second place. It's not clear cut quite yet. Audi looks like he has in the clear with first place here. Down he goes. Audi, ooh, looks like the Bugatti has the win and he's shoved so fast forward, there's no way he would lose that one. And I believe that's enough to give him the advancement. We have to see the points total there because it looks like BMW might have grabbed second and they're going to need a tiebreaker. Because he grabbed second, actually, uh, we missed out on that excitement, but the, the race for second was so close and BMW, by a, a nose... Pushed his way to the tiebreaker. Bugatti and BMW. Through the S's they go. They're tied in points. They look to be tied on the race so far. Neck and neck as we head down towards the space on the inner and outer lines. Here we go. Will there be collision? Yes! Bugatti gets in front though. Bounces in front and all the momentum is transferred. And it looks like Bugatti is going to come out the benefit of this tiebreaker. He will advance along with the Audi. And we'll get our next four up there. Second group, Tesla, Lamborghini, Nissan, and uh, Camaro. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I do. I do. It's Camaro or Camaro or... I, I know, and people tell me in the comments, they sound it out using the phonetics and everything. And, and I, when it comes race day, I just forget once again. What about the uh, the Lamborghini, though? Let's take a look at him. Looks like he's speeding up there. Oh, back and forth, loses out, and looks like the Nissan's going to start strong here. And I know there'll be some comments on this one with all the phonetics and the explanations you could gather on this. Camaro? Camaro? Heat 2. Tesla starting out pretty slow, though. Do we expect any different, huh? Camaro on the near side. Nissan on the far. Lamborghini in there as well. Through the S's. Looks like Tesla has something to say about it as well. He might come out in second place here. Speed-wise, no. Lamborghini getting the edge. Here to the convergence space. Yes, looks like Camaro. Camaro? I don't Stop. Um, <laughs> I got to stay focused here, guys. <laughs> uh, three, five, three and five for the, for the Camaro. I'm afraid to say it. For the number 17. 
Oh boy. I'm giving myself a breakdown here. Number 17, blue strike, uh, blue car, white stripes down the center. Uh, really holding out pretty well. Five and three for him. Looks like the Nissan and the Lamborghini still in it. Nissan on the near side, right on the 17. Oh, behind him, and they're all in a line. Tesla's gonna have a win. Nose block put on at the end. A very slight one, but enough to run him another length and push him across the finish line out of nowhere, and the standings are shook. Camaro, I believe, is gonna have a win here. He's 11 points. He's gonna advance. Uh, what about Tesla, though, with a chance? Yeah, seven points for Tesla, nine for Nissan, and seven for, uh, no, six for Lamborghini. So there's an option for any car to make it here. Camaro taking a big lead at number 17. Tesla still doing some work here, comes out fast through the transition space. Big nose block holding on to the Lamborghini, even with two cars he holds on. Gets out in front, strong defensive maneuver, and doesn't even let two cars of force batter through it. And the Tesla comes back, one, one, five, three. Tie breaker is going to be in order. 10 to 10. Number 17 will advance, Nissan and Tesla to go at it. Tesla, who's been in a rhythm here, this could be good, the Nissan though, when you take him to straight racing, he is quite a fast vehicle. They're about even, but Nissan's out in front. Here they go to the conversion. Tesla needs to get in front. He just bounds through, and he loses all that momentum. The mojo is gone, and Nissan says, I am here to win. Now, would have thought an upset could have occurred here, but not so. Uh, number 17, and the Nissan will advance. Finals. Let's do it. Heat one of the finals. We have our number 17 blue vehicle. We have our Bugatti, we have our Nissan, and we have our Audi. On the far side from the first group. On the near side from the second group. Nissan falling back quite a bit here. Audi, ooh, speed out of the turns, but it looks like that dark blue 17 is your commanding leader here in this one. I really, I really think it's very possible that we might uh, experience the final sweep. Audi stuck there on the track. He kind of got sidelonged through the transition. And we'll, uh, we'll run him again. The 17. Starting strong. Camaro, Camaro. Stop. <laughs> the se <laughs> Audi on the near side. Through the S's they go. I <laughs> gotta stop doing that. Audi. And the Nissan and Bugatti all about neck and neck and neck. Here comes the number 17 through the transition piece. He's got a big lead. The Nissan has pushed ahead on the near side. And he gets around in the draft lane. I think that was a move from Bugatti and Nissan Audi together. Not necessarily purposeful, but Nissan got a huge speed boost. And he's back in. Back in it to win it. Bugatti and Audi, a lot of work to do down in their respective places. Bugatti with at least a three and a two, but Audi's just so far behind at this point. The number 17 and Nissan seem to be the two with the most likely chances. Number 17, out again. Nissan could use some speed here. He's again stuck behind. The 17, too fast through the transition. Ah, ooh, Nissan's trying to hold on for second and does. Keeps two cars back and I mean, I think that keeps him in the game. So that second place might have been important. We'll have to see the points here. 17 with 13 points, and the Nissan with 10. So the Nissan wins here, he'll get 15. And uh, well, if the, uh, the number 17 avoids first or second place, it will go to a tiebreaker or even a win for the Nissan. Here we go, down the double spiral. And it looks like the Nissan, oh my God, the Camaro flew off the track and it is over. Nissan just needs to win this one. He will not, a tiebreaker will have to happen. 13 points to 13 points. No, wait, will they give him one? Will they give him one even though we finish not? They might. I think they will, because that's usually how it goes. And it looks like the Camaro will win. Camaro will win this one. 
man, by falling off the track, just because Nissan didn't win the race, it will be a number 17 victory. He will advance, and I think he deserves it speed-wise, but man, what a finish. That threw me off for sure. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.